This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. One life matters, my life matters, other lives matter, Native American lives matter. If you don't value life, then you are like the callous woman in the story about Solomon and the baby. In the story, there were two women, both claiming the baby. One woman was willing to have the baby cut in two with a sword, and the other wasn't, because the baby would die. So Solomon said to give the baby to the woman who did not want to divide the baby, who wanted the baby to live. The baby is like the land. Native Americans own the land. They did not want to divide it. They did not want it to die. They care about the land. They want the land to live. It's surely their land, and does not belong to anyone who wants to divide it, kill it, exploit it. The land does not belong to anyone who wants to make sure it dies. Native Americans defended their lands. They suffered the genocide, protecting their homeland. Many lives were lost. Native Americans were killed, for their land. The Quran says that if you kill an innocent person, it's as if you killed the whole world. This is April Shell Ties. I, too, am a victim of genocide. Two of my brothers are dead, and a niece, also. My dogs were poisoned, my mother is dead. I was treated like garbage my whole life, and then they tried to throw me away. I was attacked by a black occultist. No one helped me. I tried to drive him off with scripture. Eventually, I tried to warn people about black occultism and genocide. Things got worse. Big, big groups came against me to protect the black occultist. Everyone helped him. In fact, after a protracted attempt to kill me, the church group he referred to as his power base got control of my mortgage, without my knowledge or consent. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is in on it. They want me dead. No one helped me. During COVID, I was blocked from getting my 403b funds and retirement. My employer gets all my retirement if I die. Again, no one helped me. Worse, they attacked me. They attacked me repeatedly. They blocked me repeatedly. After a long struggle to get my retirement funds, I was even finally blocked again by an embezzler, who has been prosecuted for fraud and identity theft. Yes, he was an embezzler, and I did not know it. He was supposed to help me, but he proceeded to put up impossible barriers, and would not even give me copies of any forms. This was an intentional attempt to ensure I died, and never got my money. It was done with the secret cooperation of individuals, who wanted to make sure I not only did not receive help, but could not survive long enough to do anything myself. They wanted to make sure I died. I am like the baby in the story of Solomon, or the land taken from Native Americans. These people want to exploit me and kill me. They belong to secret societies, operating in secret combinations. This is April Shell Ties. I am being hunted and killed. If I die, it is not a natural death. Secret societies run things. Churches, government, business, education. Everyone's in on it. Without my knowledge, I have been designated the slave class. They want me dead. I can't get anything back to normal. Genocide is real. I grew up in the Grey Eagle area in California, but did not know the Maidu tribe were persecuted in the Plumas County area. I was told the Indians living near the Feather River simply left when the railroad came to Portola. But now I'm sure the truth is worse than what I was told. There are really only two kinds of people in the world, the godly and the ungodly. Which are you? This is April Shell Ties. There's a silent genocide going on today, in a world that is run by secret societies, and their secret is hypnosis. They use science of the mind. Native Americans are still a target. So is anyone else deemed the slave class. This goes on largely in secret. If you insist on keeping God's laws, these people will call you vermin and try to get rid of you. They're well supported, and they kill. This is Rome, and Rome is supported by secret societies and their secret is hypnosis. Rome practices genocide and calls it population control. Rome is responsible for the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. We are still dealing with Rome today. Herod and Rome. Fight back. Use psychic self-defense. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Read the Bible. Respect all life. The scriptures say, Allah desires no injustice for mankind. To Allah all events are referred. Advocate what is moral, and forbid what is immoral, and believe in Allah.